I'm going to show you how to create and share multiple calendars in your Gmail Google Calendar. The reason why I want to show this to you is because I think it's a fantastic way to keep track of your personal, family, and even your business events all in one place. So let's get started. First, of course, you want to sign in to your Gmail account. And then once you sign in, you're going to select calendar, and then your calendar is going to pop up. Now, how we create a new calendar is you go over to the left-hand side under My Calendars and hit Create. But before I do that, I just want to point out that your calendar is divided into two sections. The small section up top here will show your all-day events, and then below shows your hourly events. Okay, so let's create a new calendar. I've already got two established, but now we want to create a new one. So, here we go. First, got to give it a name, and we'll call this one Blog Posts. And then you can give it a description if you like. And we'll just say this is a schedule of blog topics. Okay, and then you can give it uh, or identify location, uh, time zone. You even have the option to make it a public calendar if you like. This may be beneficial to businesses that want to post different advertisements um, or different events going on, promotional events and whatnot. So you can learn more on how to embed this by going here or up to the help menu up top. Okay, now the function that I use is you're able to share your calendars with however many people you like. Um, I like to do this with my family because I'm able to see what's going on with each one of my kids or my husband or whatnot. So all you do is you type in their address. I'll just type in mine. Hit enter. And then that email address pops up below. And then to the right of that email address, you can give that person specific permissions for that calendar. It automatically defaults to see all event details, and that's just where they can see the event, that's it. But you can also give a person the permission to change events or even change and share that calendar with whoever they like. So we're going to keep it as is. Again, all you need to do is to add more people, just go up to this box, type each, type in each of the email addresses, and hit enter. When you're done adding the email addresses, hit create calendar, and then it'll pop up over here on the left like it just did here, blog posts. It automatically selects a color, but you can hit this arrow key and select a different color if you like. Right? And then what we can do is we'll just quickly add an event and we'll identify it as the blog post calendar. Create event, and there it is in green. So you can see we've got one, two, three calendars already. You can view one of them at a time, and all you need to do is just Unhighlight the ones that you don't want to view and re-highlight the ones that you do. So you can see one, two, three, or all of them at once if you'd like. So that's the beauty of this calendar. This has been so beneficial to my life. It has definitely simplifies my life, especially since I can see all of my family members and friends' events. Um, and I can also access this calendar from any computer that has internet access and from my mobile phone. So basically I have access anywhere, which makes it so much easier. Anyhow, I hope this has been beneficial to you. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you for joining me.